So here it is guys, the final video. I have so many tweaks installed at this point, it's getting kind of ridiculous. Anyway, in this final video, we are going to cover the top paid tweaks that I think you guys should definitely check out. Now these are some that I have personally purchased and I feel are worth purchasing uh, on the latest devices. Anyway guys, let's get into the list and top things off with a top paid tweaks video. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the top tweaks that I'm talking about in this video. First up, let's just start on the lock screen. I still use Jellyfish. Is it worth $2? I'll let you decide, but I really do like the lock screen complication. It looks super sweet with pretty much any wallpaper. You can have a custom color right here, or uh, you can actually have it go to music as well um, based on the album artwork color. So that's definitely one that I use. I still occasionally use BioProtect XS. I've purchased that in the past, but I'm honestly onto the new A Shields free alternative. It's not too bad actually. Um, for dark mode, I'm actually fully converted over to Dune. It works pretty well, but I have purchased Noctis XI in the past as well. Same with Eclipse, I use that occasionally. Anyway, let's, let me show you guys some that I actually have installed on this phone. Going back to the lock screen one more time down here, I have Jumper to basically give me a nice custom list to other applications, um, or basically just set custom toggles for these right here. Uh, it's a super awesome tweak. I still use that one almost every single day. And that one to me is well worth the $2. Anyway, that one's called Jumper. I still use Boxy 3. It's a really nice, easy, old school way to basically get a custom grid layout on your home screen. I've yet to try out Iconator 2, but I honestly think at this point in time, Iconator is the better buy. It has a super awesome UI. I just haven't bought it yet, but either of those are gonna do the job pretty well and add a lot of flexibility to customize and get your layout perfect. Down on the bottom for the dock, I do use Floating Dock Plus. Now there is a free alternative Floaty Dock, but Floating Dock adds some nice gestures to go to the lock screen to bring up the control center. I really like the look of that. It's super nice. So it's up to you, but I personally like the pro version. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. So when I'm sending notifications from another phone and when I receive it on this phone, I do have notification installed. I think it looks super cool on the notch right up there at the top. Anyway, I just like to look at it when you lock your phone screen and you receive your notifications just like that. Adds a nice little, uh, it catches your eye, I guess. So it's a pretty cool tweak and there's a lot of things to customize with it. So that's, I guess, why I use that one. Now, probably one of my favorite paid tweaks is called Gusto and it adds this nice multitasking layout, basically combines the control center as well as your multitasking pane right here, all in one nice screen. And I think it looks super sweet. Now the background is changing colors. Now that's with switch shades. Yes, that's a tongue twister, but um, it's a pretty good tweak too. I really like the look of that. Just adds a nice look and feel, a nice color pop to your, uh, to your phone basically. Anyway, with those two installed, your multitasking doesn't look any better than that, guys. I think it looks super sweet. Next up, we have some music related tweaks. Now I have ColorFlow 4 going on right here. I really like the look of that lock screen music control. And then right below it, I have Next Up 2, where I can actually choose what song is coming up next. And once I'm happy with it, then I can click Next and that song plays next. Super nice, super awesome controls right here on the lock screen. Anyway guys, super cool tweaks to go with. Let me know what you guys think down below. Now this one is one of my all time favorites as well and I honestly should have started this video with this one. It's called Safe Shutdown. Now you not only get this awesome looking shutdown menu to do a bunch of other things, but what's really cool about this tweak is when your battery gets down to about 5%, it kind of fake shuts down your device. You basically are presented with just a black screen. Pressing any of the buttons will not wake up your device. And basically the reason for this is it will save and preserve your battery that last 5% for a long time, a good couple of hours. So when you guys plug your phone in next, it actually will just boot up into the currently jailbroken state. So you guys don't have to re-enable your jailbreak every time your battery gets low. And yeah, sure you lose either two to 5%, you can set it to whatever you want, but you lose a little bit of battery percentage, but 
It saves a lot of time and hassle not having to re-enable your jailbreak every time your battery gets low. Anyway, that one's called Safe Shutdown. Again, still one of my all-time favorites. I just use this one a ton. Not too practical, but it's called Zenth, where you can hide other applications behind one. Basically, you can just pull down and add whatever application you want. I use this for like maps, hiding Google Maps behind it, or again, social media, hiding them all in one app, just like that. The toughest part about this tweak is you gotta remember where you put all these apps, but uh, other than that, I absolutely love that tweak. This one's kind of a new one called Bottom Toolbar. You basically have your connectivity toggles right there below any application. It's accessible in every single application just by swiping up from the bottom left. Anyway, super awesome tweak there. And very lastly, one tweak that I do use all the time is called Bazzy, and it basically shows your battery percentage around the notch. It also puts your battery percent on the home screen up in the top right. Anyway guys, that's all the tweaks I have for you in this video. I think that's the only one that I actually didn't have installed on this device, and that's because I had battery percent A12 installed on top of that, and it wasn't playing nicely. Anyway guys, that basically concludes this series. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and sticking through it to the end. I mean, it just is ridiculous. I have so many tweaks on my device right now. I don't really recommend having 100 plus tweaks on your device at one time. It doesn't really slow it down, and the battery drain really isn't too bad. It's just, it's pretty buggy. There's a lot of compatibility issues between multiple tweaks. I honestly get about a list of about 30 together and kind of rock those on a daily basis. Anyway, guys, if you guys want to hear my top 30 list, of just ones I actually use every single day, um, let me know. It'd honestly probably be these paid tweaks in this video and a few other free ones on the side as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for making it to the end and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Stay tuned for more awesome content by us, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out. So if you guys are brand new to jailbreaking or if you're coming back to the scene after a while, you guys are going to love this video because these are some of the best things you can do jailbroken on iOS 12.4 entirely for free. So let's just give a couple examples. Like if you go into YouTube, say you're playing a YouTube video just like that. If you swipe to the home screen, now you can have the video continue playing just a, it's the picture in picture feature basically. And now that comes to iPhone and that's achieved with two tweaks. One is Circube for YouTube and then the second is Force in Picture. And again, this works for every single app, not just YouTube as well. Anyway guys, I thought that was a super awesome one to start this video out with. Again, you can bring some iOS 13 features like the volume HUD right there, 13 HUD. Uh, a couple other features I showed in my last video that you can connect to Wi-Fi networks as well as Bluetooth, just like on iOS 13. It's quick CC. You can have a custom look to your Spotify when you go to your lock screen. You can have a music visualizer right there. Again, some of these are paid at the top here to get custom uh, to get a custom look, but just giving you guys a preview, you can even choose like what song's coming up next. But anyway, this music visualizer here at the bottom is called Mishuda Infinity. Gotta love it. They have it for the lock screen and for a bunch of apps as well. Seriously, one of my favorite reasons to jailbreak is just for Auto Unlock X. Once my face is recognized, it takes me directly to the home screen. I don't even have to swipe up. Also, before I get too far in this video, one of my favorites on the lock screen right here is called Lisa. Now, it basically just gives a nice OLED look. You can tap to bring up your notifications and the wallpaper and things like that. But basically, when you just open up your device or quickly glance, quickly raise it, it's just a nice OLED look. Anyway, that's a quick look at Lisa. I've showed that off in other videos. Let's move on. Let's head to the control center next. So I have a couple things going on here as well. Uh, let's turn off low power mode. Um, I have magma to give a nice custom color to volume and other things like that. Brightness is red um, and all these toggles are different colors. That one's with magma. I have a quick way to respring my device and do other options here as well. That one's power module. And then I have low power do not disturb 
to turn on low power mode when I uh, toggle do not disturb. So anyway, that's just a quick look at some of the tweaks I have in my control center. I guess I also have a real CC to permanently disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth instead of just disabling them for 24 hours. Anyway, that's all the CC tweaks I have for you that are entirely free. Let's continue on with this video. Another great one is called Animations Be Fast. So when I'm opening up applications, the animation speed is just super quick. It's almost non-existent. Swiping down the control center, opening up multitasking, all of the animation is super quick. Anyway guys, that one's called Animations Be Fast. You can get awesome notifications like this with Notifica, super awesome tweak. I just love that you can customize pretty much everything about your iOS device. It just looks super awesome. Uh, that's a sneak peek of notification there for you. That one's paid, but this one's free for the notification look. Anyway, there we go. Moving on to the next tweaks. So we have bubbles to give a dark mode to messages and to create an awesome look there. That's my favorite messaging tweak, I think. Here at the bottom, we have bar emoji. Even my keyboard's dark here too. I think it looks super awesome. Anyway guys, let me know what you think down below. Again, that one's called Bark. Just to keep your home screen looking clean, I have shy labels. As you guys can see, I have icon labels, but they only appear when I'm moving my icons and then they fade away. Unfortunately, Evanesco XI to fade the icons doesn't work quite yet but I did think to include that one too. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on A12 devices. Again, I have a floaty dock right here, and then I also have Dune for a dark mode on iOS, and I thought this was super awesome. It's updated, so if you go into the brightness menu, you can actually toggle it on and off now, <laughs> just like iOS 13. So the dock is now bright, and now my widgets are bright. Anyway, super cool tweak. It's entirely free. I love it. So is the dock one. Again, this just brings the iPad style dock to the iPhone. So you can have your recently used applications uh, and things like that and add more icons to the dock. Here's a nice trio of tweaks that I have for you. If I pop open the settings app, I have better settings to give the settings app a nice dark mode. I have shuffle to put tweaks in its own category right here at the top. Again, in my previous video, I have stick around to pin certain categories here even higher than what Shuffle puts it as. Um, and then very lastly, I have circle settings, which gives a nice circle look to all of the icons within the settings app. Anyway, some awesome settings tweaks just to get you guys on your way to customizing your tweak preferences a little easier. And I just love super simple tweaks. This one, double tap lock, does exactly what you think it would do. And it works on A12 on iOS 12.4. Snowboard lets you add a custom theme. I actually don't have a custom theme going on here, but where I'm using Snowboard right now is I'm shrinking down the icon sizes to 80%, just so I can fit a few more on the screen and have them not quite be as big. Anyway guys, Snowboard is an awesome theming tool. Uh, two that I use a lot, I use Snow White, which basically is all white icons, and then I also use Lotus. That one's a pretty good go-to as well for themes. Another one that I often have installed is called Easy Swipe. So if I swipe down from the center, it's your typical spotlight search. If I swipe down from the right side, it goes to the control center. Swipe down from the left, it goes back to the lock screen. Another classic one is tap time. So if I just tap the time, then it shows the date right there. Pretty cool one. This one's one of my favorites. It's called silent screenshot. Basically there's no sound or animation when you take a screenshot, just a nice little fade, something like that. Next up within the messages app, we have whoops. So when you go to send a message, there's actually a three second countdown where you can cancel sending that message. Um, so if you need to change it or something like that, you have three seconds to do so instead of it sending immediately. Anyway, that one's called Whoops. This next one called Oh My Flash. If you guys turn your flashlight on and you forget about it and you leave it on, after about a minute or whatever you set the countdown to right there, your flashlight will automatically turn off. So a pretty cool tweak to have. I'm not gonna stick around to wait for it to turn off, but I know it does work. Anyway guys, that one's called Oh My Flash. Another great one that works is Small Surrey. So instead of taking up the entire phone's interface, you just have Siri in this little part on your screen right there. 
Pretty cool tweak to have, and again, it's entirely free. Still, one of my all-time favorites, pencil charging indicator. So when you plug your phone in to charge, you get this nice little indicator right here at the very top of your screen, letting you know that your phone's plugged in and is charging just like the Apple Pencil on the iPad. And speaking of battery, if you guys see that I have my icon right there, it's not showing my battery percentage, but if I go ahead and enter an application, then it shows I have 34%. And that's done with battery percent 12. Hopefully battery percent A12 will be updated and that shows it on the home screen then. Next, if you guys want an app drawer, well, Vesta is the one for you. It's entirely free and it shows all of your apps if you just swipe up from the bottom right, just like that. You can actually pin it too to have a favorite section as well, as well as your recently used. Pretty cool little design right here. Anyway, just swipe down to go back to the home screen. And again, like always, Cuttlefish remains alive and well. That is still working on iOS 12.4 on A12 devices. As you guys can see, when I 3D touch or haptic touch in the near future, the background color changes to match the application's color. So Reddit's red, Mail's blue, and so forth. And very lastly, I thought this one was super cool. Instead of swipe to unlock, I actually have my weather right down here on the bottom. So when it finally comes up, there we go, mostly cloudy currently, it's 60 degrees. So a very minor tweak on the lock screen, but I still thought it was really cool. And again, it was entirely free. So I hope that was kind of a unique list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, taking a look at some of the best free tweaks for iOS 12.4 on A12 devices. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the last part. And I actually decided to change things up. The very last part, I'm going to feature the top paid tweaks. So these were some of my favorite free ones. Again, this is not the entire list. If you guys wanna check out all of the tweaks in this series, just go to our Best Tech Info article. Again, we have tweaks from not only this video, but our two previous ones, as well as our next one, once we publish that as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Stay tuned for more content by us, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.